Julian John certainly has taken that approach. See these players getting ready here for game number three now, doing a little bit more sideboarding. Uh, this group of players all know each other pretty well. You see Jonathan Rossum wearing the Lotus Box shirt because he is part of this particular team. Team was made by Zan Saeed, who you see is teaming up with two of his teammates, Aaron Corn McDuffie and Dylan Donegan. So, Martin Vehicles, you see part of the reason this is a mirror here is because these players work together for the event. Yeah, they live, uh, they live fairly close to another, uh, the McDuffie's team here with Zan Saeed and Corey McDuffie both residing in Atlanta and Dylan Donegan, uh, Cary, North Carolina, and currently a student at ECU. You see there, the 25-year-old from Atlanta, Georgia, two open top eights here for Zan Saeed, exploring, enjoys exploring, excuse me, new restaurants in new cities as long as they are rated 4.5 or higher. That's a pretty lofty scale. He loves himself in basketball. Not sure if he likes it as much as we do. Also, he's a Lakers fan. Ugh. I don't know. If you were born in L.A., that is such a part of the, part of the, the culture. culture that it's yeah. it's a big deal. And he started Team Lotus Box. He's the uh, founding member, the captain of the team, is Zan Saeed, the 25-year-old who currently resides in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what? I don't have to make fun of him too much. The Lakers are bad. They kind of just make fun of themselves. Also, yeah. he's got to deal with LeVar Ball. <laughs> <laughs> so he's got it bad enough. He has to act like he likes him because he's a fan. I'm a LeVar Ball guy. Oh, would you grow up? I don't like all of it. I think some of it is is past my my threshold. But hope the boys are doing well. Where are they, Lithuania? Yeah, I don't know. That that says circumstances doesn't sound great to me. <laughs> Just I like Lonzo. Uh, I think college athletics in the United States is so exploitative that someone trying to find a different way to make things work I am in support of not to say I defend every action or think that every decision is good correct but the foundation the foundational principle of what's going on there definitely has my support that I agree with that I agree with I wish he would talk a little less sure yeah. that's what I would I'm like not, I'm not you know how about a little I'm less not, I'm not defending I'm not defending everything I think we're trying to do our own branding thing because we feel undervalued and exploited by the large manufacturers. Mm -hmm. We're trying to find other leagues to play in because uh, these kids being on television and making a bunch of money for the colleges and playing for free is uh, unethical. That is one heck of a pile shuffle, by the this way. This is not a. That's not. A, <laughs> that's not. The, that's neither a pile nor a shuffle. <laughs> I don't know. I don't, know, I don't know what I'm watching right now from Julian John. It's a. It's a. It, an ancestor or adjacent to uh, the original pile shuffle, which was 60 card pickup. Yeah. <laughs> you just you just throw it on the floor and you yeah. scoop it back up. Yeah, I don't know what that was. <laughs> so who even knows? Who even knows what that was? It's unbelievable. I just for those of you wondering at home, did I just throw a pen at Stephen Green, the American Dream of Commander Versus? I did. Stephen, they can't Quite see you. Here, yeah. They can't. You're not getting in the booth, Stephen. Okay. Catch you, catch you broadside. From I, the outside looking in. Okay, Stephen's getting a good look here, making sure everything's on the up and up. We got to get. We got I'm not one to you know take away my own work here or anything, mm -hmm. but uh, I would like for Stephen Green to get an open one round. Or a, whole, or a uh, whole open. I would, I would support a whole open. I could see a three-man team yeah. in the booth. Me, you, and Stephen Green. Three-man team? Someone. There you go. That's an <laughs> unnecessary woo that you probably just heard. That's great. We, we need to give him a shot. <laughs> we need to give him a shot. Tell us what you think at home. At SCG Tour, hashtag SCGDFW. Should we get Stephen Green for a three-man booth, one show only? One show only. I'm kind of in support. Mm -hmm. Kind of in support. You never know where Would that show's going to go. Would love it. Have you ever heard uh, Stephen Green's true North Carolina stories? I have. I have. That could be a show. You could fill out. You could fill out 18 rounds real easy. Yeah. <laughs> that could be an SCG YouTube show all in itself. All you hear in the, itself. You hear the story about how his buddy lost one of the rooms in his house to hornets? I did. I did. Just telling you, there, yeah. there, he's got a lot of good stories. There's a hornet nest in there, and that was that. <laughs> That, that room now belongs. Well, it wasn't. It was exactly. Yeah. But now that room now belongs to if you the listen, Hornets. If the house had four bedrooms and you sold it, you would have to list it as three. Yeah. Because <laughs> the the Hornets the Hornets had one of them. Anyhow, yeah. I would I would support giving him a shot at it. Dylan Donegan has won his match over Kevin King. Grixis Delver takes care of Lance. Tough tough go here for Kevin King. Curious if Zan and Julian can can 
shuffle anymore before this third game. Because they, 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 have, they have the green light. Looks like Zan is happy. Looks like Julian's happy. Okay, we're going to watch Magic now. Looks like a Toolcraft Exemplar. Great way to start. That is a duress. Probably take care of a lightning strike. And understanding here that uh, John has probably sideboarded into the, the bigger deck with uh -huh. a lot of spells and sweepers. Yeah. Planeswalkers. Duress, not a great game one card in the matchup, but post board, if you're expecting that sort of line, makes a lot of sense. Although, John's hand is all the beatdowns. Yeah, it appears to be a beatdown strategy. Dragon Skull Summit's going to enter the battlefield tapped right now. I'm sure he'd love a red source to be able to play Veteran Motorist or Scrap Heap Scrounger. See if a big top of deck is on the way. If not, it'll just be a land and a Bromac Courier. Well, let's go over to Julian John. He... What did he draw? Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. That's the one. Inspiring Vantage, Scrap Heap Scrounger, beatdowns for three. We're going over to Zan now, who is certainly behind. Needs a block or a removal spell, I would say. Something like Heart of Karen right now, not ideal. Boy, Canyon slew and just passing the turn back. I hope, hope Zan's got a fatal push. Yep, that's Play the one. That much. Julian was thinking about playing Bomac Courier, and Mr. Rossum said, I'm not sure about that. Might want to slow down a hair, perhaps. I mean, you'd have to be concerned about a sweeper here, but you would also like to get a second artifact onto the battlefield pre-combat just mm -hmm. to ensure that your tool card, tool card exemplar is good to go. Well, there is Veteran Motorist. Scry 2. So you see the team dynamic coming into play, where Jean quickly wanted to play a Bomac Courier, maybe start attacking. His teammate intervened. So I think maybe we should consider doing something else. So a little bit of scrying here for John and Saeed. We'll see an attack here, I'm sure, soon enough. Ooh, and that was that's devastating there for Saeed not having the fatal push. Now, without a sweeper, I don't think he's catching back up. Yeah, you're going to need something like a Sweltering Suns right now because he is certainly behind. Not just behind, he's very likely dead next turn if yeah. he, you know, doesn't have something really substantial. He's only had a duress to interact with so far, which is not great. Pia, not bad, <laughs> along with the Thopter. John thought he might have been getting slow rolled there. He put everything in the graveyard. <laughs> yeah, no, not, not yet, my man. Jeez. Oh, I'm licensed this integration here at eight. Jeez. Uh, block your motorist, I guess. Yep, he knows the motorist is going to go to the bin. Yep. Matu. What are you? Man, what's the play got to be here? I mean, a, a, a sweeper is still tactically live. Cast out's horrible. Aether Sphere Harvester with a block with a way to crew is maybe that would, way. that would probably be pretty good. So there, you know, it, it would be a weird mixture of cards, but it's not. He's not necessarily out. Zan Zaid at two. And remember that he knows about the Bowmat Courier too. None of that matters too much at two life. But just one more piece. It means that he can't just answer the scrounger that John's got a backup artifact to make sure the toolcraft exemplar is at least a 3 2. Is it time to cycle cast out? Because that's, that's a hard way to do it this turn. Well, <laughs> if the turn is cycle cast out, cross fingers. The cast out doesn't do anything right now, so. Ooh, pass? What is this? I don't know. I, I, I mean, I, I assume we're just casting the... We're yeah. going to play two Bowmat. Yeah, we're done. What was this going to be in a braid? Uh, braid to kill Scrounger. It's only take one. Sure. That is going to do it. Kevin King, Jonathan Rossum, and Julian John are going to win this match over Dylan Donigan, Corey McDuffie, and Zan Saeed. Two matches to one. It's Lands, Humans, and Marty Vehicles moving your gentleman on the left to 